Is the business model of generative AI and LLM sustainable? That's the question we're tackling today. In the world of AI, ChatGPT has been a shooting star, rocketing from zero to over 100 million users in less than two months. This makes it the fastest growing consumer application in history. But the question remains, is it a sustainable business model? When we delve into the costs, we find that estimates per response from ChatGPT range from one cent to 10 cents, depending on the number of words. This is purely in terms of cloud compute costs. To put this into perspective, Morgan Stanley estimates that providing an answer through generative AI costs about seven times more than a typical search due to the additional compute required. When we survey the use of large language models or LLMs in production, most respondents from businesses of all sizes and industries cite cost, resource usage, or return on investment as their main concerns. So, let's break down the costs of implementing LLMs. The first step to any tech adoption is calculating ROI. For large language models or LLMs, it's all about tokens. Tokens in the context of LLMs are words or parts of words. For example, the word eating might be divided into two tokens, eat and ing. Why is this important, you might ask? Because most LLM billing and the context window size of the model are defined in tokens. So understanding tokens is crucial to calculating the cost of implementing an LLM solution. Now let's dive into the steps of calculating this cost. First, we need to calculate the number of instruction set tokens required to fine-tune the model. Think of this as the amount of data the model needs to process and learn from. The second step is to calculate the number of tokens generated for inference. This refers to the number of tokens the model produces as output. To illustrate this, let's use an example. Imagine we want to read and summarize all Wikipedia articles using an LLM. Step 1. The size of the input, which is the entire Wikipedia corpus, is roughly 6 million articles. Assuming an average of 750 words per article, this translates to about 1,000 tokens per article. The cost of processing this input, based on a rate of $30 per 1 million tokens, is $180,000. Step 2. The summarized output. Let's say our LLM reduces each article to 375 words or 500 tokens. The cost of generating this output at a rate of $60 per 1 million tokens is also $180,000. Add these two costs together, and we get a total model implementation cost of $360,000. These are approximate costs for a large-scale LLM use case. There's more to consider than just model implementation costs. As we venture further into the world of large language models, we must not forget the additional expenses that could sneak up on us. It's like buying a new car. The sticker price is just the beginning. Let's think about it. Firstly, data acquisition. Remember, these models are only as good as the data they're trained on. Acquiring high-quality, diverse, and representative data is crucial, but it's not free. It's like fuel for our new car, keeping it running smoothly and efficiently. Next, talent acquisition. Skilled data scientists and AI specialists are needed to implement and manage these models. Talent in this field is highly sought after, leading to competitive salaries. It's like having a skilled mechanic on hand, making sure our car is in top condition. Then comes training. Once we have our data and our team, we need to train the model. This process can be time-consuming and costly, especially with larger models. It's like giving our car a test drive, making sure it performs as expected. Finally, maintenance. Models need to be regularly updated and improved, keeping up with evolving data and user needs. This ongoing cost is like regular car servicing, ensuring our vehicle stays roadworthy. Adding up these costs, the price tag of implementing large language models can be quite staggering. It's like owning a high-end sports car, a powerful machine that demands a significant investment. So, circling back to our initial question, is the business model of generative AI and LLMs sustainable? It's a tough question. It's like asking if owning a sports car is sustainable. For some with deep pockets and a need for speed, it might be. For others, the costs might outweigh the benefits.